Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in San Antonio, just north of downtown, to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up sopes, flautas, and gorditas. Let's go inside Gorditas Vitorion. Joining me now is the manager and the owner's daughter out here at the restaurant, Leslie Mota. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming. It's in the name, the gorditas. They're right in front of us. But talk to me about the restaurant. I mean, how did all of this get started? So my grandma used to do gorditas all the time. She had always had this dream of having a restaurant, something it's new in here because you don't usually see this food. And it actually went really good. It took off and the community loves yeah. it, right? And I want to start right here because these gorditas look out of control. So talk to me about this one. What's inside of it and what is it? made out of? So that one is the rajas con queso. Us in Torreón, Coahuila, we eat them just how they are. We don't put lettuce, we don't put tomato. That's okay. just... This is it. This yeah, is how this you do it. it. But you do have a red and green salsa here. Yeah. Are these made in-house? Yes. Okay, so the red one, a little spicy? Yes. <laughs> He's like, yes, yes. Yes. All right, I want to put a little bit on top. There we go. That's the bite. Oh, wow. Spicy it, was a, it was a little spicy. <laughs> These gorditas with the cheese on the inside with the corn masa. I mean, absolutely delicious. It's just ooey gooey goodness. And you have all that crunchy exterior on the outside. So it's a good body. They're not going to fall apart. You can add as much sauce on the inside as you want. It's a great flavor. Is this one flour? Yes. And what's inside of it? That one is the chicharrón prensado. And actually, that's something people really love. Oh, I bet. This just looks like loaded up with flavor. Now, let's try the green one. Yeah, this one's really good <laughs> with the green one. Cheers. Yeah. The chicharrón prensado with the green salsa and the flour gordita. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, the flavor it. on that. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. One of my favorite bites was the flour gordita with the chicharron prensado on the inside. It is so good, so much flavor. I mean, it's just juicy. You can tell they just let that meat just simmer for hours, and it has all that salsa in the inside. Now, you can add green, add red salsa to it, do whatever you want to do, but you don't even need it. Just eat it the way it comes. This one right here, what we got going on on the inside and what's the masa made out of? It's uh, kind of like the first ones, but on this ones we actually put them on the grill. It makes them like more crispy and oh, people okay. really like that. And you actually have a specific name for that style, right? Yes, they're gorditas al carbón. On this one we have the carne con chile de res. Here we go, that's the vibe. Right. Oh, wow. Right? Mm. Makes you do a little food dance with that. What are the gorditas that you don't need any sauce whatsoever? Don't even think about it, because it's already got a little bit of spice to it. The carne con chile is so good. Great flavor on the inside. But then what I highly recommend is you get the gorditas and you get them back on the grill. It's called al carbón. It gives it a little more crunchy texture on the outside. A little more bite, a little more crunch, whole lot of flavor. Now, something that's that's just a little bit special to you guys out here. I mean, these are huge sopes out there. So what's on the inside of these ones? Okay, so this one, it's the deshebrada, which is just shredded beef, but um, it really has a good flavor. Uh -huh. And the other one, it's the picadillo. Ooh, I love picadillo. And yeah, yes. they're really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go for the picadillo one. You wanna go for the shredded beef? Okay, yes. I'm gonna pick it up. Cheers. Cheers. And we got a little bit of beans on the bottom. That's the bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. My Elbow. <laughs> That's delicious. Mm -hmm. The sofas are huge. I mean, these things are like big enough where you can just hold it with your hand like that. It's like a big disc. And then it has a little lip to it, beans on the bottom, choice of meat on top. And then you have the lettuce, you have the sour cream, the tomatoes, everything built on top of that. I mean, but these things are gonna fill you up. You need like one, you get two if you're feeling really hungry. So you have flautas and these things are just loaded up. Yeah. What's on the inside? So we have a mixed one, which is uh, one beef, one chicken, one beans, one potato, and one requesón. These things are like loaded up and they're huge. You want to grab one? Cheers. Cheers. There you go. This is the flautas. Let's see which one I got. Mm. Oh, wow. When you get the flautas out here, I highly recommend getting the plate that has five of the different flavors on there. Plus, you get some veggies on there, a little bit of tomato sauce, and then you can add some green and the red salsa on top as well. A little bit of lemon juice goes a long way. You get that crunch on there. You get to try a little bit of everything, but the shredded beef is out of control. Yeah.